Now let's talk about the multiplication standard algorithm. When I think of a standard algorithm, I think of a shortcut. It's usually the uh, fastest way uh, to compute a problem, but usually the way that makes the least sense when you think about the numbers. So it's always good to learn many other methods so you can really understand a standard algorithm. Uh, remember, if you have not watched the expanded algorithm video, you might want to do that at this time. It'll really help you understand the standard algorithm. Okay, let's get started. As you can see here, I have 37 times 3 that we did in the last video. And over here, I have solved it using the expanded algorithm. And um, today I want to show you how to solve the same problem in a quicker way with the standard algorithm. The first step in the standard algorithm is to multiply the ones, seven times three, okay? Seven times three is 21. In this case, I'll put the one in the ones place, and I'm going to regroup the two over here into the tens place. So I still have 21, it's just that I've written the ones below the line and the tens above the problem. Okay, the next step is to multiply the digit in the tens place. So three times three is nine, but I still must add two more. Nine plus two is 11. As you can see, my answers match each other. I still get the same product. Now let's try with another one, 84 times 5. As you can see on the left, I have already done this in expanded form. Okay, remember, step one is to multiply the one place. 4 times 5 is 20. I'm going to put the zero here and the two tens in the tens place above the equation. Next step is going to be for me to multiply that tens. So eight times five is 40, but I still must add two more. 40 plus two is 42. As you can see here, I still got the same product. Let's try one more. Again, on the left, you see the expanded algorithm. First step is to do four times four, which is 16. I place the six in the ones place and move one 10 over to the tens place. Six times four is 24 plus one is 25. And again, the products match. Now, let's try the same three that we did in the last video, but this time I want you to try solving them with the standard algorithm. If you have any problems, just rewind this video and watch the steps again. I know you'll do great. Good luck.